Emotional connection, sexual activity releases oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone, which plays a crucial role in bonding and fostering emotional intimacy between partners. Stress relief, engaging in sexual activity can act as a natural stress reliever by reducing cortisol levels in the body, leading to feelings of relaxation and well-being. Self-esteem boost, positive sexual experiences can enhance self-esteem and confidence, leading to greater overall satisfaction with oneself and one's body. Brain activation, the brain's pleasure centers, including the nucleus accumbens and prefrontal cortex, are activated during sexual arousal and orgasm, leading to feelings of pleasure and euphoria. Hormonal changes, sexual activity triggers the release of various hormones, including dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins, which contribute to feelings of pleasure, happiness, and satisfaction. Relationship satisfaction, couples who engage in regular sexual activity tend to report higher levels of relationship satisfaction and intimacy compared to those who do not. Communication, effective communication about sexual desires, preferences, and boundaries is crucial for maintaining a healthy and fulfilling sexual relationship. Gender differences, Men and women may experience sexual arousal and respond to sexual stimuli differently due to biological and psychological factors, including hormonal fluctuations and societal norms. Psychological Benefits Beyond physical pleasure, sex can provide numerous psychological benefits, including improved mood, reduced anxiety, and increased feelings of connection with a partner. Individual Variability sexual preferences, desires, and experiences vary widely among individuals, and what may be pleasurable for one person may not be enjoyable for another. Respect for individual differences is essential in sexual relationships. Why crying after sex is nothing to be ashamed of, and may in fact be a compliment. If you've ever cried during or after sex, know that it's perfectly normal and you're not alone. They might be happy tears, tears of relief, or a bit of melancholy. Tears during or after sex can also be a purely physical reaction. Clinically speaking, crying after sex is known as postcoital dysphoria, PCD, or, occasionally, postcoital tristesse, PCT. PCD symptoms may include tearfulness, sadness, and irritability after consensual sex, even if it was perfectly satisfying. Even if you pride yourself on your stiff upper lip above all else, there's probably a situation or stimulus which will elicit a little cry. There's no need for embarrassment, shedding tears can actually be incredibly therapeutic. Psychic tears, which are prompted by emotional reactions, contain natural painkillers. Moreover, we're capable of crying in response to a wide range of stimuli, movies, music, narratives, adorable animals, even during moments of intimacy. While it might initially feel disheartening to witness someone crying after sex, it's important to understand that it doesn't necessarily indicate dissatisfaction with the experience. Crying after sex is perfectly natural. But is this instinctive reaction a result of the emotions we're experiencing, or is it influenced by hormonal changes? In an interview with The Tab, psychosexual therapist Denise Knowles shed light on why some individuals may find themselves reaching for tissues after intimacy. For many, tears may flow after orgasm because when the sexual encounter concludes, the feelings of closeness, joy, and satisfaction come to an end. However, emotional attachments aside, there is a scientific reason, hormones. Denise, with 25 years of experience in psychosexual therapy, elaborated on the release of the happy, feel-good hormones such as oxytocin and dopamine during sexual activity. However, once the sexual encounter concludes, there's a decline in the levels of these hormones, leaving individuals susceptible to feelings of sadness. These tears shed after sex fall into a somewhat bittersweet category, 
neither entirely happy nor sad. Denise further explains, it's not necessarily about experiencing sadness, it's more about feeling a sense of closeness and longing for that intimacy to continue. The concern lies in wondering, when will I have the opportunity to be that close to my partner again? If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.